Hey guys, Tico13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Little, Little King Story. In the last episode, we went through the bullshit fight on Soap Manjaro. In this episode, we're here at New Island. New Island, Jumbo Champloon. Yeah, that's who we're going up against next. King Jumbo Champloon. But of course, Poncho's gotta come and give us our information. Or letter. Testimonial. Caterpillar, airplane camel. Caterpillar, airplane beetle. Tapeworm Olympics. Mantis Olympics. Suntan Oil Olympics. Potato helicopter. Helicopter. Green pepper. Suntan oil. Jumbo Champloon! Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm... You know, th this place I don't mind so much. I like New Island. It's e it's it's much easier to navigate than fucking Soap Manjaro. Just fuck that place. Uh, I don't know. I just like the feel of this place better. It's like a really incomplete place. What the fuck is the uh, spotlight for? Oh, clockwork net. That's so weird sometimes. More pony. Come on, get out of the way, guys. I also have to say off screen what I did off screen because there's a bunch of stuff that happened off screen because obviously I didn't just come here. Uh, magic light. Anyway, uh, what I was meaning to say is that off screen I got requests for Liam and Verde's salaries again, and I completed them. Um. I also went and rescued the people that we lost in the last episode, as well as- oh, fuck this. Oh, jeez. I didn't see the fucking... compass. Oh, great, now everyone- now I'm down to one fucking health. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. 
This is not the recording session for me. I'm having such a bad fucking time right now. I just want to get this episode done. No, fuck, I just want to finish this fucking game. Don't get me wrong. I like this game. I, I know it might not seem like it after these past couple of episodes, but I like this game. It's just that at times, it's very fucking frustrating to play. Huh. <sighs> Stop after three. Uh, okay, I think I think I've calmed down a little. All right, vacuum on me. right there.
I think we're almost done. Almost done. Because there's some more craftians over there. That's just the background. I think we're at the end. Cool. So I'm gonna this hot spring get her going back to full health first. Before we go take on Jumbo Champ Loon. But it should be enough. I hope it's <laughs> Oh, it's dead now. Alright. Well, we should be fine. Where's the sex? Hamburger, hamburger, la la la. I didn't get a god memo. I, I think I missed the god memo. Oh well. It's not like it's important. I can explain the fight. Here we go, the final king, Jumbo Champloon. So, there are a couple different mechanics to this fight, as well as stages. Well, yeah, stages, I guess, if that's the right term. You want to be careful with those little crayons, they are like little missiles. You can start attacking them anytime you want. Um, just be careful for the worker onis that appear, and when he goes to twist off everyone. Uh, you want to find the worker onis as quickly as you can, because these worker onis will deliver candy to Jumbo Champloon, and that will restore his health, and you don't want that happening. Alright, so let's get back on the attack. Ooh, pencil. Best touch really is only form of attacking for right now. Uh, you can destroy the pencil if you want to. Or you can just keep dodging it like I am. It's not a big deal. Uh, if you want, you can bring a, a, a variety of jobs to this. Uh, I believe chickens... I mean... Not chickens. Uh, I believe that uh, chefs might be useful. But I could be wrong, because again, I haven't played this in months, well, years. Uh, so, if you want to, I mostly just recommend bringing a bunch of soldiers, because they are what's going to help you the most, because they can cling on to Jumbo Champloon and really get some damage off on him. Because it's mostly just try and finish him as quickly as you can, because after a while he will go to his second form, where his head will fall off and he will get a new head. Or at least three forms, not two. 
anyway, he gets a new head. A chicken head. Now you want to be careful here, because in this stage of the fight, he gets a lot more fierce, and will start actively attacking you more, because he has a special beam, uh, and you want to be careful for when that thing starts up, because it is very bad. I think... I don't think it actually does damage to your guys, but it can be pretty bad, because what that beam does is that it's a uh, job-changing beam. If it hits your men, it will change them into some random occupation. Oh yeah, chickens are here, so, uh, chefs do come in handy. Again, just watch the beam. Don't start moving until he actually, like, starts firing the beam. So that way, you can actually, like, you know, help if I get closer to him. At least I believe this stage is the, uh, job-changing beam. I could be wrong on what that beam actually is. Okay, there's the chef. Worker Oni. Okay, let's wait for the beam to go. See the beam warming up. Oh, yeah, someone got hit. Well, a couple people got hit. So, yeah, it does change their job, that beam. Well, anyway... <laughs> I didn't see who got hit. I think it was just a farmer and someone else. Okay, anyway. The last stage of the fight. He gets armor. I forget what's so special about this stage. But I think chicken production stop, but stops, but I think he goes back on the offensive. Definitely the uh, second stage is what I think is the easiest. Uh, but definitely, Champloon is my favorite boss. Ooh. Yeah, he does this. A spear attack. So it's just the same as the other stages. Keep an eye on him. Uh, keep an eye on the worker, Oni just to make sure that they don't get too close. And look out for the Oni that try to fucking steamroll you! That should do it, though. Ah, we're losing people. Oh, come on, we are so close. I don't give a shit if those people died. Fuck it, we won. Oh, the Eggen died! Oh, well. Okay, and with that, New Island has fallen under our control, Jumbo Champloon is dead, and we've achieved world domination, people. We did it. Let's break open this last vase, get our last wife. Yeah. <laughs>
We're almost done. I uh, believe seven. Jeez. Mm. Mm. Uh, all right, worlds united. Congratulations for finally unifying the world once and for all! Hooray! This is truly a joyous day. I, Hauser the Bolt Knight, am proud to serve you, King John. Long live John! Long live John! <laughs> oh jeez, that one was pretty bad. See, see, I told you so by telling you so. This looks really bad. Uh oh. Fire and brimstone. Hmm. We will have our usual Alpoco Kingdom Pinpoco conference. Today's topic save the world before it ends. Those in favor? Yeah. Today's topic save the world before it ends. Those opposed, zero. Those in favor, six. Approved all around. The cause of the shaky world is up in the sky beyond the universe. King, you must go up in the sky in the flying machine. What's there? God is in the sky. We will scientifically investigate what lies way beyond the known world that we know. Onward to the end of the universe! Hold up there, Galactus. Isn't world domination enough for you? Hey, look who's getting all high and mighty now. Who is better, God or our king? Either way, my king! You must gather all the parts and complete the flying machine. It will I will call out to all the citizens to help with the construction of the flying machine. Minister Verde, be sure not to miss a single part of this historic event. Gotcha. The ultimate fight for survival begins. <sighs> Alright, everyone's been unified so we can go and save the world. And on that note, 
I think we are going to end the episode off here. So next time on Let's Play Little King's Story, uh, we're going to go and get the rest of the parts for the flying machine. So I will see you guys then. Bye!